Hi, my name is Newell Davis with Wormaculture, and today I have something a little different to go over. Uh, I built a new sorting mechanism for my worms, and as I always tend to just mix whatever's been sorted out, the compost, into a bucket, aerate it, and then throw it in my yard or around my certain plants that I have, I figured why not cut out the middle step of that? So I built this new sorting machine here. Let me show you. So, what I have here is a machine, or I have a, a tote, a Rubbermaid tote, or I guess this is a HDX tote, uh, that's 27 gallons, and I built this piece right here. So there's a screen mesh, and it's angled downward. If you can't tell, it actually follows this curve down. It angles downward, and it gets kind of caught in this section right here. Now the idea is that I'm going to throw in the compost with the worms. This is 1 8 inch. It's stapled on the outsides here as along with the bottom. And you're going to put the worms in and I'm going to have water flow over and just sort the worms. All the compost is going to turn into water or you know mix with the water, go through. The worms are going to be right here just fine and then I can collect them. So the way I have this set up right now, just so you can see everything here, is I have this Actually, maybe it's better to see from this angle where there's more light. These are sort of like oblong triangles, and they flow this way, gets deeper, so that way this mesh gets deeper. I have it hooked on the back here with this piece of wood so it won't just slide all the way in. I then have this plate here for stability, and also sort of as a shelf so I can kind of put like a bucket on it or something like that. Now. This is the key to this design. I did not want to just have the hose running and just keep dumping more and more water on them. So what I did is I put a hose, hold on, I'm gonna put the camera down here, if I can. I put a hose on the bottom of this. So I have this hose right here, and it runs out and runs to this pump. Now this is a drill pump, I don't have the drill hooked up now, but you hook the drill up here, it spins, the water is going to throw, flow through this line out to this end and I just hold this up over here and I can keep putting in water from this back over the worms and that's going to save me from having to constantly run water over the bin like fresh water. I can re keep reusing the same stuff. I figure what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to have this at an angle upward so that way the dirty water or the water that's been used is going to stay over there and then I won't get any large particles in the the fresh water that's coming out or the water that's still going to have compost in it but not be as bad. So I haven't tried this out yet. I've uh, been kind of busy lately and I haven't had a chance to and I don't have a bin really ready to go. So I'm probably going to try this, hopefully this week I'm, I'm hoping to try it. So that way I can sort out some worms, get some compost and then also with this, because of this hose attachment on the bottom, what I really like is the fact that I can also just use this same setup and pump all of this out into my yard. Uh, I have certain trees that I water out back, and that's what I'm going to probably end up doing with this. I'm going to just pump this onto the trees out back. So that's my setup. Now, as far as cost, I had a lot of this stuff already. I had already purchased it. I already had the wood. I already had the bin. It was actually originally, I'm going to just scroll over here, underneath this bin right here. So it was a, this one has holes in the bottom, and it's actually, you can see it's black in there. It's actually draining out into that bin now, or the lid of that, the, the second bin. But uh, originally I had that draining into there, and not much came out. It never really worked right, so that's why I thought I would try this with it. But I had that. The only thing I bought was the hose, this this green hose, which has two uh, female connectors, and then I bought the pump. Uh, everything else I had essentially, and it was only I think the pump was around ten, eleven dollars, and the hose was another seven. So it wasn't too much on my part to buy all this stuff since I had a lot of it. So. I will post a video when I first use it. I'm hoping that I can, uh, I might try it outside just in case it makes a huge mess or leaks or something like that, which is why I haven't used it yet, but we'll see. I'm hoping to get to use this soon and, and just show everybody how this works. And as you can see in here now, you can see a little bit better. So this, there's a gap here. There's about an inch and a half gap between where this bends up. So that way it kind of catches everything, but it can still run out this backside. You know, I wanted to make it kind of a basket. I wish I could have had it a little bit more on the sides, but that would have been really hard to do, I feel. So it would have been too hard. So I'm hoping that I, what I'm hoping will happen is as I pour this in, the worms and everything run down here. They catch on this basket. All the compost runs through with the water. And then I just have a whole ton of worms up here that I can uh, scoop out and, and put into another bin. So 
I'll let you know when I get this going, and I'll get it, get it started for you guys hopefully soon. So thank you. If you like this, please give a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the design of this, please let me know. I don't really have official specs since this was just what I had laying around. I sort of cut up what I had and put it together, but I will do my best. So thank you.